So we're back in the woods of Georgia. We're gonna be doing some armadillo hunting. I got the bow fishing rig and he's got a crossbow. So we're gonna be trying to find some armadillo or some beaver. Hopefully get some to eat tonight. So armadillo and possum are probably the main animals you're gonna be able to capture in Georgia if you don't have weapons because they're like one of the slowest medium sized animals. So these are the most realistic animals that you're probably gonna be able to eat out in the wild. All right, we just heard an armadillo up here. He's right there, he's right there. Oh, I can drill it from you, Right over him, go get him. He sadly he just got away, but there's plenty more out there. Let's go. Alright, we just came across this swamp. There's tons of swamps around here. That's where all the beaver are. And the armadillos like to hang around them, so we've seen tons of them. Get him this time. Alright, he's right up here. Hi. Oh, we got him. We got him right through him. Holy crap. He's out of his misery. In Finally, we got something to eat. He's trying to get away. All right, we're going to clean him and uh, cook him. What's wrong with this one's tail? Oh, my. I noticed that earlier. This is, he smells horrible, but this is the things you got to do to survive. The smell? It's kind of like a wet dog and a rotting animal. Wait, wait, and, and a fart. And a fort. And, and, a, and a fort, like a bad one. Tail. How much you want to bet he takes off when you let your foot up? So, armadillos, 10 to 20% of them have leprosy. So, you want to handle these with care. I have gloves I'm going to be wearing when I'm going to skin them. And then I'm just going to throw them whole over the fire so that any of the leprosy dies. Now, most people are immune to leprosy, but some people are not. Um... Do they not find out? <laughs> yeah, the armadillos have leprosy compared to other animals because their body temperature is really low and the leprosy like bacteria thrives in that really well. So the human body is hotter so it's a little harder for it to thrive. Alright, let's go. Definitely don't, don't touch them. We're just going to drag them back to camp. Excuse me. to get gloves so that we don't get leprosy. Here they are. <laughs> Here we go. Extra heavy duty gloves. Eisenberger. Eisenberger. 
Don't try to be like Heisenberg. Well, if you're in the wild, you're probably not going to be able to wear gloves. So you're just going to have to skin them with your hands and pray you don't get leprosy. But you're probably not going to get leprosy. Small chance, but if you can get gloves, wear gloves. It'll be worth it. Let me get my knife. Alright. Let's do this. I got my skinning knife. This is what I used to skin all my uh, animals when I was trapping and stuff. So, this one is going to be dedicated to gross animals. Alright. Cutting this off first. Let's get that out of there. Okay. So here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to skin them and pull all his intestines out and leave everything else on them because I don't want to mess with them too much. I don't want to risk like blood squirting up in my mouth or anything. So. All right, there we go. Oh, there's some nice, some nice red meat. Let's get these intestines out. Looks like a scene from Walking Dead. Yeah, this is exactly what it is. All right, so we got all the intestines out. Now, if I throw it and cook it like this, nothing can harm the meat. So, he's good to go in the fire. So we're just gonna throw him on hole, cause I don't, no point in scaling him and everything. I wouldn't be messing with it. Let's go. Can you just combine with my fire with that? No, let's make the fire a little bigger. Alright, let's put some seasoning on them. The more the better. Alright. So we're gonna put them right on here. Just like this. <laughs> oh look at that. And we are just gonna wait until he's gonna be all black on the outside, and then we're just gonna take him out and <laughs> eat, eat, <laughs> eat the inside of. I'm gonna leave this on there for a long time. So, I'm going to be taking these gloves off. There we go. Clean. Perfect. No leprosy. That's disgusting. It smells quite nice. All right, I'm getting ready to flip them. It's getting pretty toasty. Look at his cracked skull from when I squished its head. All right, let's rotate him. It's getting real toasty. Look at that, you can see the meat right there? The scales already came off. You can see the scales came off and there's just meat right there just cooking. All right, I'm just trying to cover them in coals as best as I can. Keep them out of the direct flames. It's looking all black on the outside, which is perfect. All right, so he's pretty thoroughly cooked. Definitely all the leprosy is cooked out of him. So we're gonna go ahead and, we're gonna go ahead and uh, start feasting on our dinner. No, you are gonna go. All right, I'm gonna cut into him. Still good meat. Now look at that. My oh, the light came off. You see, can you see? Oh yeah, it looks good. Now look at that. See all that meat? Oh yeah. Look at that right there. Look at that. Well cooked. Pretty decent meat. It's really hot. All right. It smells pretty decent. It's 2017. All right, it's not amazing, but it's not that bad. Yeah. All right. Mad respect, though, this man will eat it. Let's get some more of that meat off of there. <laughs> There's the one right there. So look, like, there's a decent bit of meat in there, and 
and actually cooked it pretty well. It didn't kill all the nutrients down in here. So here's his leg. Here we have a good, decent bit of leg meat. It's not too bad. It, I mean, it's not good, but it's definitely protein. I don't know if we look at all this one. back meat too. I thought you'd purposely bunch of back meat on here. Some more good meat. How was that when you shot it? That was not bad. I'm just spitting. Image. Yeah, just these are actually really strong creatures, so they have a ton of ton of muscle on them, so a ton of meat to feed you if you're uh, surviving. So this is definitely one way to do it. All right, well, I got a good bit amount of meat off this. We could definitely get some more off of it if they were eating, but I'm eating by myself, so I'm, I'm pretty full. So, yeah, that's how you can get some good meat out of an armadillo without getting any diseases. So, until next time, guys.